Welcome back, Motorsports Addicts, to the Old School Motorsports Academy. Today, we're shifting gears and accelerating into the exciting yet turbulent years of 1920 to 1949, a period that laid the groundwork for the Formula One we know and love. Get ready for a wild ride. The Roaring Twenties, a scramble for supremacy. Emerging from the shadows of World War I, the 1920s saw a resurgence in Grand Prix racing. The absence of a single governing body created a free-for-all, with manufacturers like Peugeot, Fiat, and Sun being fiercely competing for dominance. This period saw advancements in superchargers, brakes, and suspension systems, pushing the boundaries of speed and performance. Standardization takes root, the formation of formula car rules. By the late 1920s, concerns about safety and the need for fair competition led to a crucial change. The International Automobile Federation FIA, took the wheel, aiming to standardize regulations. This era saw the introduction of formulae, specifying engine size and weight limitations, a stepping stone towards the official birth of Formula One. The silver arrows rise, the dominance of Mercedes-Benz. The 1930s witnessed the reign of the legendary Mercedes-Benz W25 Silver Arrow. With its aerodynamic design and powerful engine, this car was virtually unbeatable, securing multiple Grand Prix victories. He is however challenged, and for a time actually passed by a vast white Mercedes, this difficult and unsuitable car being driven by... This period also saw the rise of iconic drivers like Nuvolari, Rudolf Caracciola and Manfred von Brauchitsch who captivated the world with their skills. The shadow of war looms, the end of an era. Unfortunately, the world entered another dark chapter World War II. This devastating conflict brought an abrupt halt to motorsport, putting technological advancements and racing dreams on hold. However, as happened during World War I, the innovations and engineering prowess developed during this period would significantly impact future car design and racing technology. A glimpse into the future, post-war preparations. While racing was paused, motorsport enthusiasts didn't lose hope. Designers and engineers continued working behind the scenes, conceptualizing new racing cars for the hopeful post-war era. The stage is set, the birth of Formula One awaits. The 1920s to 1940s may not have witnessed a unified Formula One, but it was a crucial period of evolution, laying the groundwork for the standardized, high-octane world of racing we enjoy today. Let's discuss this in the comments. What aspect of pre-war Formula 1 racing surprised you the most?
Which car design from this era do you find most fascinating? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the next chapter in this thrilling story. The Official Birth of Formula One